Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonicua from morethanasnapshot.com. In this lesson I wanted to talk about a couple of simple things you can do with the Move tool. The Move tool is on your toolbar over here, it's this arrow. And obviously you can use it to move things, so it's pretty simple. One tip when using the Move tool is if you have things on different layers, and we'll get to layers in another lesson, but to move an object on a certain layer, you have to make sure you're first clicked on this layer. So if I want to move the black square, I have to be clicked on this layer. Or if I want to move the red circle, I have to be clicked on this layer. So let's start with the black circle. You'll notice that if I click on the black square, I can move it around anywhere I want. And it's nice uh, because Photoshop gives you these little quick guides that pop up. Those are those purplish lines that are showing up on your screen and it really helps you snap the object into place in a place that is centered. Alright, so once you have it in place I'm going to switch to the red circle and I'm going to do something like that and again it helps me snap it right into place. So that's the simple use for the move tool that you'd probably use most of the time. All right, now let's look at another use for the Move tool. What if we had two photos open, and I wanted to bring one photo into the same layer palette as the other one? So let's say I want to move this photo into the same one as that one. So all I have to do is click on the photo, and then drag up to this tab, and I have to hold down the mouse button and then drag down till I come over my image. Remember, don't let go of the mouse button when you do this, and then let go. And you see that automatically it puts it in, this is the background layer, and this is the top layer. And of course, I can use the Move tool to position these layers any way that I want them. For example, if I wanted to do some sort of a split screen before and after type of thing, I can do that just like that. So there are many uses for the Move tool and give it a try. It's something that you'll use all the time, whether you're using it for photos or photo objects or things that you've drawn. Again, this has been Gary Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com.